What's your best fire me? I ducking dare you moment from work. Over the first year I worked there, I essentially took over most of the tasks in my department which were previously held by other departments and was done badly because of it. This led to a massive increase in productivity. I then found out I was paid significantly less than what others were making and others in my position across the industry were making. So I go to my boss and tell them I had done all this work increasing productivity and I would like to discuss a raise. They said no. So I work there for another year, asking for a raise every now and again until I was offered a job that paid double. It didn't start for a couple months so I held on to that job until I was set to submit my two weeks. I asked for a raise again, thinking what the hell why not, my boss goes off, tells me I won't get a raise and says some very colorful things about it. It culminated with her telling me if you don't like your pay, maybe we should evaluate your future at this company to which I replied already have. I took another job and this was your last chance to offer me what I deserve. I quit and walked out of that office. Friends told me that my sudden departure caused a massive backup of work that ended with my manager being fired for it. Told my boss two weeks in advance that I was taking PTO on Monday and Tuesday. She approved it no problem. I take the days off and went out of town for a school thing. I come back into the office on Wednesday and I'm locked out of my account. I talk to the operations manager, my boss's boss, who was the person who interviewed and hired me to see what's going on. He told me that my boss said I disappeared and didn't contact anybody for two days. I explained it to him and he said no problem. I talked to my boss later in the afternoon and she is furious. Starts saying how I didn't tell anybody that I was taking PTO and thought I just suddenly quit. I don't know what the duck this itch was talking about because I told her two weeks ago that I was going to be out those two days and I have the emails to prove it. At this point I was the only person left on my team of four people who were there when I was hired. I was already planning on quitting in next month as I had to move for school. This itch had the audacity to threaten to fire me. I said, if you feel like you need to let me go for your mistake, go ahead. Ended up working there for another 7 weeks before leaving on my terms. Even got to use the operations manager as a reference for another job. Not me but my dad. So he was delivering catering to an office one day and the receptionist obviously ducked up. She was yelling at him in front of her bosses saying that he was too late, on time with proof and that the order was wrong when it wasn't. She was making such a big issue of it and then said she was going to report him to his manager and get him fired. So my dad said see if I care and gave her the number. She called and my dad picked up because he is not the manager but the owner. Everyone in that room was laughing at her. Sorry for formatting on mobile. I used to work at a small, family owned grocery store for a few years. We got our load in on Mondays and Thursdays. And we got passed over one Monday and the distributor said we'd get the missing load in on Thursday. So, what essentially happened was a double load and my two receiving partners were out sick. I was the only person in the warehouse receiving at the time. And got to take on 15 plus pallets of groceries that needed to hit the shelves immediately. I was specifically told to not go up front. And to do what I could while the front end crew covered the aisles and cash registers. Well, a lot of them were either lazy and trained, or just putting in their hours so they could pay bills. I put in my earbud, just one, and get to work. I'm halfway through the checking in the pallets when I get called up front. So I ignore it and continue. Then I get called again. So I head up there and get yelled at by a new hire with a bad attitude to do your job and bag for me. The customer was a regular and we got along very well. And she told me that she was fine and could bag her own groceries. Between the customer and the fact that I wasn't having it, I walked away. I had 3 years and 2 ranks on her, so I didn't give half of it and went back to my pallets. Then I get the newest hotshot manager, who replaced the old hotshot manager, who replaced the beloved manager who trained basically the whole store, in my face about having an earbud in on the clock, which is allowed as long as you have on ear free, and said I could be sent home and not come back if I wanted to listen to music. So I gestured to the pallets and said go for it. These all need to be checked in and broken down. Have fun. I got to keep my earbud in. Comma so I had that going for me. Which was nice. Worked at a cancer non-profit. Hired a lady who knew about us because her kid had cancer. 
Boss wanted me to fire her because she had to come in late or leave early to take her kid to chemo. I refused. Boss said she'd fire me if I didn't. I told her she could go right ahead. Our CEO said no way. I was elbows deep in an 8 and Unix machine that should have been replaced a decade before. Parts strewn all over a desk. When the client came in to see what was taking me so long. More than me. You've got 3 dead fans. One of the power supplies has failed. There's a bad CMOS battery and the video card is glitchy and refusing to allow the machine to post sometimes. More than client. So how long is that going to take? 15 minutes? More than me. Laughing. I can patch things up in a couple hours. But I'm going to have to come back in a few days with new parts. More than client. If you can't fix it in the next half hour you're fired. I'll find someone that knows what they are doing. I stood up. Grabbed my tools. And started walking. More than client. Where are you going? More than me. I told her how long it would take. And that's longer than a half hour. So I guess I'm fired. My firing lasted about 3 more steps towards the door. Important note, my usual job was 3am noon and I was sleeping from 5pm to 1am. A split shift meant working 4.30am to 8am and coming back to 7pm to 11.30pm. If I remember right, I had been working a series of split shifts and the wacky sleep schedule was really getting to me. I was told I would only need to do it 3 days in a row. But then it became 4 days, and then finally I went to sleep after the 4th shift. Got woken up to my boss calling me and telling me I would have to work one more split shift. I told him no and that I would come in for my usual schedule. He started to argue with me and asking me why it was a big deal especially since I had worked it almost every day this week. So why not work one more? When I explained I was having issues with sleep and that I wouldn't come in he was like, but it's your job. I am scheduling you for another split shift. And I just yelled at him. Then I don't need this job. He started apologizing and that he would let me get some sleep. I hung up. I went to work the next morning for my usual split and everyone there was surprised to see me. My boss had told everyone he thought I might not show up at all and wasn't sure if I had quit. I worked my usual shift. My boss came in at 8am. And began apologizing right away when he saw me. Then he said. If working a split was so hard on you, you could have told me no. I just turned and went to lunch. Aircraft technician here working on an air ambulance on a very small island in the middle of nowhere. We used to be too lame. Licensed aircraft maintenance engineer. On this position cause we work 15 days 24 hours schedule but a new company bought our old one and the other guy left for a position closer home and after 6 months. They haven't been able to fill the position and have to send a guy 15 days each month. Paying flights and hotel at costs 100-200 away per day cause this is a very expensive and popular holiday place. I'm from this island and after lots of years out of home I'm happy to be back. They want to lower my salary 30% or get fired cause I get nearly twice what they used to pay. Told me to accept or they will put another guy on my position. Yeah good luck finding two lame that want to live here when you haven't find one. When I was 17 I worked a summer holiday job at Pizza Hut. I had transferred to my hometown restaurant from my university town restaurant. I was there for 5 weeks and hadn't been paid yet. The D head boss claimed it was because I gave him the wrong employee number. I hadn't. Anyway after 5 weeks of no pay I rang him on New Year's Eve, i.e. busiest night of the summer, and said I wasn't coming to work because I wasn't a volunteer and I wasn't going to work for free. He told me if I didn't go to work I may as well not come back as I would be fired. I didn't go to work and had a fun New Year's instead. Then a few days later I called the employment tribunal, I'm in New Zealand, and told them what had happened. They called my D head boss. He then called me, offered me my job back and was nice as pie for the rest of the summer. I was in the military and was trying to take my vacation time before I lost the days. They denied my requests 4 different times and I hadn't had a day off in 3 months and I was working 12 16 hours shifts most days. I was beyond done. I was teaching some new guys part of the tasks for one job. Everything was fine. I went somewhere else in the hangar to do something else on the plane. This quality assurance guy that everyone knew was a pain came in. I did my stuff good and he never bothered me so I didn't pay him any attention. He started talking to one of the new dudes, 
He then asked to talk to me and pulled me aside. He then asked my I hadn't told the new guy about some super obscure caution about water under a grate in the hangar floor. Something that had nothing to do with our job so it didn't matter. He was just being a pain. I was over the job and him so I told him. Listen Sergeant QA. I've been denied my leave four separate times and I've been working for three months straight. So if you have a problem with the way I taught them write me up I don't give a f and you can stuff it up your a too. Tell my boss I said that. It was a little extreme but I was pushed to the point. When I went back and I knew I was in deep because the guy walked out of my shop head's office and I got called right in. When I went in there, the shop head said, I heard what happened out there. Submit the days you want to take leave right now and I'll approve it for you. Then told me I could leave. That's all I heard about it I was shocked. Put in my 2 weeks notice at wildly understaffed job. 6 days later got sick. I call around and see if anyone can take my shift. No one is available. Tried to call out that morning. Itty manager tries to persuade me to come in even though I am buffing everywhere. I non-committally agree to call in later in the day to see if I am feeling up to coming in anyway. Call back. Say I am still sick and will not be coming in. Manager blows up at me in front of customers. Being rude as duck. Eventually asks what I expect to do about the shift needing to be covered. I say I have done everything I am required to and it sounds like a management problem to me. Hang up and turn my phone off. Owner of the company was avoiding the meeting where I get my raise. I waited over two weeks. Finally told my supervisors I'm walking out the door if they don't fix this. They told me to go talk to him. I told them they were the supervisors and it was their job to do that. Not mine. I'm in an understaffed position at a job that is very difficult to fill. If I left then the rest would have gone too. They knew that. My dog became very ill quite suddenly and he needed to be put down. I was at work and I asked to leave half an hour early so I could be there for him. I asked my manager and she got annoyed and said there was no way and that I should have told her earlier. I said I'm sorry I didn't realize my dog was going to die in the most sarcastic way possible then walked away knowing she'd follow me. I then stood at my desk and typed my resignation up in front of her. She gave me the time off. No one was going to stop me from being there for my boy. Worked for a newspaper. Editing and actually putting the paper together. Arranging it all. Placing stories and pictures where they need to be. Titling. Quoting and sourcing everything. I was a one man team and used an overly complicated system that I figured out how to use really effectively. They treated me like it. Set impossible deadlines and berated me for not meeting them. One day the boss tells me to fully put a paper done by the end of the day. Gave me no warning. I had no articles from the journalists and no photos from photographers. It was my job to collect it all from everyone and he wants me to do it in a single day? I told him no. If he wants it done. He has to give me more time. He tells me if I don't have it done by the end of the day I'm fired. I tell him that this paper can't function without me. He tells me I need to take the day off and cool my temper and that he'll do my job for me. Get a call an hour after I get home that he needs me to come in and do it and I can have as much time as I need. Promptly quit on that asshole. Duck your itty newspaper. I worked at Burger King as a teenager. One day, the assistant manager, who illegally brought her teenage daughter to work to help her out, asked me to clean the restrooms. It wasn't my normal job but I didn't mind. I had a good attitude about it and prepared to go clean the bathrooms. I walked into the men's room and discovered that the reason she asked me to do it was because someone it all over the bathroom. Smeared fecal matter on the walls, the sink, the floor, the outside of the toilet. The toilet was clogged and hand wet. Used toilet paper inside of it and all over the room. It was a complete disaster. I walked out of the bathroom, went back to the kitchen and told the assistant manager I'm not cleaning that. You can fire me but I'm not cleaning it. She sighed heavily and went and got a mop. A manager threatened to fire me because I wouldn't make some system changes that would have led the company very open to a cyber attack. I had recorded a phone call between the manager and I where I explained the risk and that we needed someone more senior to sign off on that risk before I would make the change. He swore at me and told me just to duck and do it which was all captured on the recording. He didn't know I was recording. The HR meeting where he was going to effectively fire me. 
I insisted on bringing representation and at the time the policy said I could bring whoever I wanted. So I chose his boss. The meeting starts. The manager cites insubordination etc and I just sat there. When they eventually said we are giving you formal notice. I just asked are you sure? He replied yes. My representative. His boss. At this point had said nothing. It was at this point I played the recording. I was asked to leave the room. I was called back 15 minutes later. Apologized to. Given a pay rise and informed that the manager will no longer be working on this client site. Or any client site we supported. Edit. Spelling. Although I'll left in my dodgy spelling of manager at the request of one of you guys. I was working at a shoe store in a mall and I requested a week in August off for my wedding. My manager told me her boss wasn't happy about that and all I said was my wedding is more important than back to school sales. They didn't fire me, per se. They just stopped scheduling me and eventually my access to the employee website went away. Was working in a restaurant. Already knew I was sick but our managers were assholes and I knew if I called in they'd be extremely pissy. Showed up to work around 8am. By 9am I knew I wasn't gonna last the rest of the day. Manager still made me stay. Around 9.30 I was pre-bussing my tables and just the sight of half-eaten food pushed me over the edge. Managed to hold my vomit until I got to the dishwashing area but puked in a trash can immediately after putting my plates down. A co-worker saw me and vouched for me when I went to tell my manager I was leaving for the doctor. He said, even with a doctor's note, if you leave work today you'll be fired. I said, you have human waste in a kitchen trash can and haven't even done anything about it. It's on camera. I'm leaving. Showed up for work a few days later and didn't hear anything about it. Ended up quitting a few weeks later for a job at a couple considerably higher scale restaurant. Husband was having his gallbladder taken out and was having complications before surgery. I needed to leave early from work for about 2 hours and my boss threw a fit stating I couldn't leave. I told her I had 300 hours of sick time I can use for myself and my husband and if she wanted to push I'd take all of it at once. Leaving no one but her to do my job. She said she'd fire me if I tried. I just looked at her and said I have to go I'll send you my DR's note. I wasn't fired. I was actually awarded that year for job performance. Edit. I didn't take all 300 hours. I just threatened to since I was protected by FMLA. I only took the day off. Ha. Huh. I worked at an unspecified telecom a few years ago. I was a senior manager in charge of programming. Third level support. And production support. A business unit bullied through co-changes. Made by the business side through a side deal with a legacy programmer in the data center. Circumventing my team. QA and production testing. That just had to get implemented immediately without going through any testing at all. I refused. The CIO overruled me. 72 hours later. Phone activations had ground to a halt. Customers nationwide were screaming. And the CIO called phone conference after phone conference demanding timelines for when I was going to get this it fixed. He kept screaming to have members of my team to get on the phone and explain themselves to him. I refused. Finally I snapped and told him that if he wanted me to fix his mistake I would need to get off the ducking phone go work with my teams. And the only reason they hadn't walked out yet was that I was keeping him off their asses. But we would all happily go together. 24-ish hours later QA and my team had the bullet cleaned up and fixed for a clean rollout. This was all to avoid a 24-hour delay for QA production testing. I wish I could say that was the only worst time. I've been at the company a long time. Therefore I know both day and night shift duties in and out. Are well liked by our clients and in charge of training the new recruits. Most work for us up to 6-12 months before growing tired on the workload or finding that they can't handle the job or just wanted cash enough to study up for something else. Anyway, they are heavily dependent on me. My closest boss threatened to fire me for being home one day and drinking beer when I was supposed to be at work. Two weeks prior I had agreed to do overtime but I wanted a new schedule so I would not miss it. I got a new schedule. But she had forgotten to fill in that day on it. She blamed me for it anyway and said it was grounds for terminating my contract. I dared her to do it and see how long we could stay in business. Working at an important political building. Been there for about a year. Other employees have been there for decades. 
99% of the staff is black, including myself. None of us have ever been written up. New manager shows up, a older white lady with a complex, and starts berating people for not doing their jobs. And they are very clearly doing their jobs as the job is defined. She berates people until they back talk, then fires them for insubordination. She fires 10 out of 13 people, all black, and replaces them with white workers. She approaches me and begins berating me. I am onto what she is doing. I do not react. My lack of reaction leads her to tell me I'm being insubordinate, and I'm fired. That was my I ducking dare you moment. Although I did not say it, she fired me. Six months later, she's been fired. Her supervisor is fired, and his supervisor has been demoted to the worst position a supervisor can have. A lawsuit has been filed that resulted in about $100,000 in damages to the victims. Bet she won't do that it again. Nobody so far has given an example of when they did it and got fired so I will but some details are changed for privacy. I worked at a terrible retail boutique in college. Worked my way up to management. Their pay policies were illegal. And the idiot district's director they hired staff terribly. I worked open to close by myself multiple times. I finally locked up in the middle of the day to go take a break once. Got caught. Told if I did it again I'd be fired. Said stop staffing so it. They did it again. I locked up again and a customer called corporate. I was fired. Last laugh was on them because I threatened to sue them for violating employment law. Longer backstory not for here. Sure did. Class action. Multi-million dollar settlement getting back lost wages for 1000 plus employees across multiple states. Plus unemployment for me. Actually what led to a complete life change for me and I wouldn't be as successful now had I just let them continue to abuse me. Short term financial pain and scary when you don't know how you will afford food or how to pay bills. Made it through and definitely worth it. Not only for me but a lot of people benefited. Duck you pk you piece of it. You don't deserve to still be in business. For the past few years I've worked at one of the nicer restaurants in my small beach town. I'm one of the only servers there who cares about doing a good and I'm the only one who doesn't take a smoke break every 15 minutes. This past summer a new, very illegal, rule was implemented that if we messed up an order in any way we would be liable to pay for that messed up food. I usually didn't have a problem with mess ups so I didn't bring up the legality of this matter since I make good money and don't want to start fires in places that don't concern me. That until I rang an arse cherry glaze burger instead of arse cherry glaze steak, each stylized CGB and CGS in our IT computer system. I fixed this with the kitchen, but not before they had already started the burger. I told my manager and she just gave me a disappointed and told me that the rules are the rules. I then dived into both federal and state workers rights code and told her she would never see me again if I found any money out of my tips at the end of the night. Never had a problem fixing an order again. Used to work at a liquor store with two extremely unreliable people who love drama. Both of them got into de-measuring contests with the manager and quit on the spot, leaving me and a skeleton crew to manage the rest of the crazy summer season. The rest of the crew spent a good portion of their shift sitting on pallets, doing coke in the bathroom and or drinking on the job. So I was the go-to employee suddenly, comparatively to the two drama queens. I was a very well behaved employee. But I would sometimes take my tips and pop over to the coffee shop next door while on the clock. One time I stepped back into the store right as the manager came into the other entrance. I just stood there and looked at her. She kind of shrugged helplessly. And let me do it for the rest of the summer. Well not really work but still. I was an intern at a 3D printer company. The manager was a complete piece of shti. On my first week he made a co-worker cry because she sent an order to the wrong client. She apologized to the customer and he didn't mind. She sent the right one afterwards however the manager screamed and yelled at her for the entire week. It was a small company and I was sitting next to her at the time but I didn't know how to react to the situation because if I was afraid he would fire me and then I wouldn't pass class. Well the week after that I made a wrong sketch of an advertisement and he just completely lost his mind. He screamed and yelled at me. I stood up called my school and said what happened. They called the manager and was threatened to take his intern license away. I was left alone with my schoolwork after that and he never screamed at any of us ever again. Passed the internship belly. And he hated my guts after the incident. 
Peace. Sorry if my English is not that great. Worked a job where I was the only one who knows how to take apart, clean, fix, and put all the equipment back together and do the weekly and monthly maintenance. Had a boss tell me one day that I was doing a poor job and not doing enough and that anyone could do it. If I didn't step up I would be fired or else as they had manuals for each piece of equipment. So that night I took apart all the equipment, weekly and monthly stuff too, cleaned them, and then just left it apart for them to figure out that morning. Then I turned off my phone after getting home for the entire day as I had the day off. When I turned it back on the next day I saw that I had initially received angry texts ordering me to return and put everything back together. This lasted an hour. Then texts saying I risked being fired. Then texts begging me to return. Then more texts trying to compromise with OT. Then an apology before nothing else for the rest of the day other than that the head boss wanted to see me as soon as I came in the next day. Came in the next day and over half the stuff was still not put together and what had been put together was put together haphazardly and would need to be taken out again then put back in correctly. Was immediately asked to be seen by my boss and their boss to explain myself the moment I was seen entering. Once in the office I told them that if they weren't there to apologize then just fire me then and there or drop it and let me put all the stuff back together. They looked at each other and then told me that I could get back to work. Boss never called me lazy again. Worked for Radio Shack and always butted heads with the district manager. He wanted me to use these ridiculous sales techniques that might work in a big city but were really pushy. The year he became our DM I won a contest for best salesman in the whole company. Out of about 14,000 employees. And I did it without being pushy and forcing stuff on people. He still tried to get me to use these ridiculous techniques each month when he would visit. But after I won the contest I stopped sugarcoating it and would flat out tell him that's stupid. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm an electrician. Boss son said my clothes are too dirty to wear to work. Told him these clothes were clean when I first wore them to work. Told him buy me new 1s or fire me. That was a year ago. Still wearing the same PVC glue stained clothes to work. I'm a speech therapist. I work in a skilled nursing facility. For the most part, they all suck. This is no exception. But the place I used to work. The boss was a scumbag. To the extent that the entire rehab staff signed a letter asking to get him fired. He was basically forced out. I eventually left. And came to my current job. I swung by the rehab gym and saw his ass sitting in my current boss's office. I kind of froze in shock. I thought he was interviewing for a job there. So I went to the boss at the time and told her flat out that if he got tired, I was walking out immediately. She got a stunned look on her face and quickly assured me that he wasn't working there. That was my first time drawing a line in the sand like that. First kitchen I worked in. They told me, the more jobs I learned, the more I'd get paid, came in basically knowing all of it anyway. Six months later I had learned every job there except one spot. They told me if I learned that spot, I'd get a raise. I told them I could find a new kitchen. I was easily one of the best employees there, and that I was told the more I learned the more I'd get paid. And I still hadn't been given a raise. Head chef cracked and gave me a raise. I told him 50 cents wasn't enough. He was forced to give me another. Two weeks after that, they fired the banquet chef's assistant. We had a lot of 300 plus people events and told him to pick his new assistant. He immediately requested me. I told them I needed another raise. I was told no again. Again I said I'll find a new job. Came in the next day and put my two weeks in. Yup. Found a job that quick. Wound up making more money in that kitchen than anyone beside the banquet chef and the head chef. That's how I wound up getting 3 raises in a month. 